Good evening. Welcome to the Neshoba Valley Amateur Radio Club QSL Card Sort. This is our November meeting, and annually for our November meeting, we sort cards for the incoming W1 QSL Bureau. Good? Good. Good. You can edit it from there. I'm going to lead us around and explain. All right. So, Eric KB1J is the W1 QSL manager. He brings us box of card, boxes of cards that are unsorted. All of these are destined for hams in the one call area. For instance, this is a card that's destined for N1TO. We take these cards and we basically sort them out for each of the incoming managers who take one letter in the alphabet. So for instance, N1TO goes in the T box. KA1S goes in the S box. KC1BUF goes in the B box. And so on and so on and so on. And we sort as many as 20,000, 20, 25,000 cards uh, every year, depending on how many cards uh, are brought in for us to sort. And and how long have you been doing this for? Uh, again, uh, we're not entirely sure how long the club's been doing the current sort for at least 25 years, but possibly closer to 30 years. Okay, and uh, I'm going to explain to the uninitiated what is QSLing. So, a QSL card is a confirmation of the contact. Uh, back in the old days of amateur radio, if you worked a station, for instance, uh, this ham, K1NZ, worked EC1AIJ, and KC1EIJ -E is confirming the contact. So this is written proof that the contact took place. It has the date, the time, the frequency band, a signal report, and the mode. And amateurs exchange these cards for sometimes for awards. Uh, they exchange these cards sometimes just uh, to have a confirmation. They exchange the QSL cards so that they can put these up on a wall and show other people uh, what they've done with their amateur radio stations. Okay. You ready? So this is Eric KV1J, the incoming W1 QSL Bureau Manager. Eric, how long have you been doing this job? See, the Bureau managing probably seven years, and probably 17 years doing the Bureau work. Okay, and typically how many cards a year does the W1 QSL Bureau sort? So back in pre-2014 or so, we were doing close to 200,000 a year. And that's dropped down. Just before COVID, we were down to about 80,000 a year. So it dropped quite a bit. And that's Logbook of the World, and it's also um, sunspot. sunspot cycles are lower. And also the outgoing bureaus of the countries, their costs have increased quite a bit, so it's slowed down. Now with COVID, it, it, from Jan February 2020 until July 2020, it went to zero with COVID because there's just no shipments. But it's dropped down quite a bit due to COVID. So we expect there's a surge coming at some point. <laughs> How uh, you think um, um, I've gone brain dead now? You're going to have to edit that out. <laughs> uh, do you think you can highlight that part? Do you think, <laughs> so we'll start again. Do you think Logbook of the World has had a major impact on QSL? Yeah, it's helped. Uh, I look at it as a positive. It's helped. Uh, especially big contesters after a contest, they can do logbook of the world of their entire log and it cuts down the number of cards they get. The folks that do the conversational QSOs, you know, they get on and, and chat with folks and all, uh, Ragchu, uh, they really want the cards still. So we see a lot of times there'll be logbook of the world QSOs, but then they'll still send a card. But, but logbook of the world, yeah, that's, that's really uh, helped, helped the ability to do uh, QSLing. How many other clubs are doing, uh, helping out with uh, QSL sorting activities? During COVID, it, the only one that did it this past year was the Algonquin Club, which is our local club in Marlboro. But it's about five clubs a year 
typically that, and, that do it. And do you have trouble getting getting people to help you sort cards, or generally no, they keep up with it? There's lots of people volunteering. At, it's, it's it's been great. Uh, for instance, so we have the clubs do the priest. This is called a pre-sort, and then I have a couple individuals that do the pre-sort as well. And then the final sorting is one sorter for every letter, and I've got a list of a backlog, a list of people that have volunteered uh, to do that. So that's it's been great. Yeah. Now you may want to. You may want to. I don't know if you're still recording, but you may want to ask Eric the same questions that you ask me about what's going on and stuff, because he may be a much better actor than I am. <laughs> but what we do at the end of the year, in December, is the sorters look, and if someone has just one or two cards, then they will send them just those cards. You know, usually we wait till they get five cards to fill up their envelope, or you know, make a lot of amounts. That way, you know, they get, you know, one sort of card and then one card. We don't, we, we let them stack up. And so, what do we have here? S, M, O, S, O. Oh, it's over, Dennis. He's going to get a verbal beating. This is going to make sure we get I, I'm cheating here, Jim, because I am pre-sorted. Two inches of cards at home. Yeah, so what do you got there? I've got uh, I've got all of the P's already. They go in here. I had pre-sorted, like I said. I, I got a, a stack of two inches or so. There go the Q's. Looks like I'm making great progress here. Only because I spent an hour on it at home. <laughs> Card at random here. Uh, it's always nice to get one yeah. to yourself. <laughs> this card is from. Bulgaria. Bulgaria. That's one of the best ports of looking at the cards. It's obviously backwards. The Europeans have some beautiful cards. Oh, I guess so. Huh? <laughs> Where did I take it It was a, uh, yeah, an eye. Yeah. Yeah. Jay? Jay. Oh, and for Let me see that again. How long have you been sorting cards for? I thought it was back with Z. Oh, me? Probably all the time I've been in the club about 15 years. <laughs> You come for the cards or come for the pizza? I come for the cards. Pizza's too late at night. I always love these cold looking cards. This is a classic card. I gotta go there at 3 a.m. Where's that? Uh, Florida. Oh, on the East Coast? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it would just have to change the back. Oh, Les. How you doing? All right. How long have you been sorting cards for? Forever. Uh, 80s? <laughs> and uh, how many contacts have you made? Uh, my log shows 60,000. Uh, at least that's what's in the log. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so I, you know, I used to. You ever counted, counted how many cards you have? Uh, uh, maybe 20,000. I did it sort of by weight, you know, counted 100 cards and then, you know, weighed the 100 cards. It's like 20,000. You know, wants to make sure they're doing it right on their... Yeah. So when you have something like this, clearly that's a key. But over here, it's a key like that. Oh, that. That's who it goes to. That would be key. Yeah. You yeah. can figure out if it's good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Crap, crap. Well, for very insane. We use high magic. Hey, Jim. George, sitting down on the job. Oh, yeah. Did you guys, are you going for the work 
all sticks or uh, worked all. You gotta sit down. How long have you been uh, sorting cards for? How long have you been sorting cards for? Hour? An hour? <laughs> no, oh, gee, this must be the fifth or sixth year. It's easy if you sit on the right side of the alphabet. J A 1 R. That would go into the R's, which is here. KK1 CWO. C. K1 IB. That's the other. That one's from. This one is from Belgium. Belgium. ON6AT. Uh, FT8 QSO on uh, 40 meters and one QAE Q right there. I'm making it crazy over in Belgium. LDO. ISR. IJ1. Uh, Jeff, you got the uh, homemade boxes tonight, huh? Yeah, they work pretty good. That's interesting. Yes. <laughs> I saw lots of this one last year. Who's that from? Uh, Netherlands. Yeah. Yes. Well, time you showed up. Um, How long have you been sorting QSLs for? I've been QSLing here for, I would say, 10, 12 years now. Seems like maybe more. I Seems like most people are about 15 years or so. Could be, I, you know. After a while, all the QSLs look the same. Um, but I have to give a plug for uh, my YL Jean. She did something. In fact, that you could probably check her out in a moment. Uh, a little personal monogram. Would you look at that, huh? Nice. <laughs> now you have to check. Got her cups and all that stuff. She, she's right over here. She's got her own. Yeah. Well, Monica, we get a new embroidery machine, so we're playing. <laughs> Somebody gave her a present. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody spent some money. Making good use of it, huh? He likes to have it. Yeah. All right, I'll help you now. Oh, oh yeah. Now that Tom made me. But thank you, Jim. This is mine. All right. You like that, Jim? Even a little puppy under the table. So, um, SWL. Thank you. Because the. And that's the last step. So, uh, oh, I'm hungry. Come on, I'm going choose it. Straight rolls. Okay, 
Iceland. TF2 MSN. It's white there a lot, and they have a lot of snow. So, blank on the back. This is a picture of Iceland in the winter. But it's going to K1RKX. So I will find the R slot right here and sort it. Step and repeat. And JT. Uh, you got all the ice ones today, huh? All from this guy, anyway, yeah. TF2 MSN. ATV. Terrain vehicle. And this would be AB1C. Fearless leader, so. Yeah, all right. Hey, everybody. Well, hello. Why don't we take a break and have some pizza? Just some housekeeping. I'm going to bring in the cards in here. If the stack gets too big, I'll put a rubber band. I think we're only going to have like a two rubber bands per letter, so it'll be easy this time. Oh, so, um, slide over a little, just a little bit more. Okay. You can be in the picture. All right. You're looking good, ready? Okay. So, ready? Aim. Ready. All right. So, thank you all for coming today. I mean, this club is the premier club in doing doing this. Normally, I come with about five boxes. Maybe it's been even more. Today, we did two and a third boxes. So, just seven thousand seven hundred cards. Just a mere drop in the bucket for us here. But what I want to do today is first give you your bureau envelope. Here's your incoming oh, cards. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sort that out. Um, one of the things that happens with the bureau is it's a completely all volunteer operation. So all of the sorters are volunteer staff, mm -hmm. and the key part of it is the pre-sorting. And doing it with the clubs here is is really a lot of fun. Uh, the thing that happens here with the club is you have new hams come in and they get a chance to actually see what happens with DXing and they get to see cards with a QSO like 004UZLEU, I mean weird call sign cards. So it's really a great experience. So as they say, this club, the uh, Neshoba Valley Club has been a premier club for us. So we went back in the archives and we went and said, so how long have you been doing it? And you could say up to 30 years because it was very informal. I think it was with uh, Dan, um, Dan Haney. But uh, now with the very formal process having the club, it's been now 25 years. So, so on the quarter century of doing the work, it's my pleasure to present to the club to the Neshoba Valley Radio Club in appreciation of 25 years of service to the W1QSL Bureau. Thank you, Eric. This is great. Okay. So, so, so we thank appreciate you. it. Love to all of you for doing this. And hopefully we'll do this for many, 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 many more years. I know yes, everyone you. really enjoys doing this. Bruce, so. this is the best. Yeah. Okay. So again, thank you, and yeah, look forward to doing it again. You know, we missed we missed last year, but uh, 
And next year, there's going to be a backlog of cards, so Let's be hope prepared. So. Let's hope so. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. That's great. That's cool. Now, now all we need is to find a building that we can, where we can hang it. <laughs> yeah, that's we should hang it here in the community center. Yeah. That's great. That's 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 beautiful. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, it's just funny as I was flipping those cards over two for you there, and I said, yeah. oh, let me make sure you get them. <laughs>